pray to hear God's voice. There's nothing better than hearing God's voice through his word and responding in obedience. The third chapter of First of Samuel records the story of a young boy named Samuel who heard a voice calling to him in the night. The voice was God's, yet Samuel, it sounded like his mentor Eli. It was only after Samuel asked Eli about his experience that he considered he might be hearing God's voice. What does this mean to us? Like Samuel, we may not recognize God's voice at first. It might take time, patience, and the counsel of others to help us discern what we're hearing. Listen to him with eager expectation. One way to do this is to make some time of silence during prayer and ask, God, is there anything you want to show me or bring to mind? If you start praying consistently each day and still find it hard to hear God's voice, don't give up. Keep pressing, keep believing, keep praying. Keep studying God's word so that when he does speak, you will know it's him. It might be a thought that drops into your mind, a scripture that suddenly seems to leap off the page, or the coincidental timing of something you hear around you. If we're listening expectantly and persevering patiently, God surprises us, helping us notice things we might have missed. May we be like Samuel, the servant, and declare to the Lord, Speak, for your servant is listening. That's a promise worth remembering and persevering to see fulfilled. First of Samuel chapter 3, verses 8-10 through 10. A third time the Lord called Samuel, and Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you call me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down, and if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. I think this is a very powerful message. <clears throat> How important it is to pray that we hear God's voice. Because sometimes there's tribulation around us, so much noise around us, that we block God's voice. We hear it at a distance, but we need to hear it closely. And <clears throat> I personally had an experience with this where he um, gave me a verse while I was reading Romans chapter 8. Um, I had this verse just pop out. It was like it was for me. I felt that it was for me as I was reading. And Romans 8 verse 18 says... For I am certain that the afflictions of the present time do not compare to the coming glory that it is to be manifested in you or in us. And the way this applies to me is because I've been dealing with sickness <clears throat> since November of last year. I've been to the hospital multiple times. So when he gave me this word, I took it. You know, I treasured it in my heart, in my soul, in my mind, and I declared in prayer and in Jesus' name that this current sickness that I have does not compare to the coming glory that is going to be manifested in my life. He has a purpose for what I'm going through, and I have to believe in Him. I have to trust in Him that He would be with me and that he is going to fulfill his promise that he just gave me in Romans 8 verse 18. And <clears throat> you you should do the same thing. I encourage you to seek for God, to look for him, read his word, pray to him. He is listening, even though sometimes I feel like he's not. God does not distance, distance himself from us. It's us that become distant. So I encourage you tonight, take some time and pray to the Lord that you hear his voice.